Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. My name is Ryan and today we're going to be playing some Alpha Clash as part of the Tavern Brawlers. After the match, <clears throat> I got this package from the Part-Time Collector a stream and uh, we're going to be opening that up at the end. Hey. Right. Oh, I'm still loading up tabletop. So <clears throat> that's fine. I'm just talking on stream. Oh, oh no worries. Uh, I've been I've been excited for this game, and also like kind of hesitant about this game because uh, knocked me out of top eight there at the Vegas Clash Room. It was a close game, though. It was, it was a close game. That is true. Uh, are you going to uh, uh, Origins? I do plan to go to Origins. We, I will also just be there. like just a weekend kind of snuck up on me. Yeah, I, I'm planning on I'm flying in on a red eye, so it'll be like uh, I, I arrive like. Friday morning at like six in the morning. That's pretty close to what I'm doing. I'm I'm getting to I'm getting there Friday morning at like two a.m. and then okay, gonna just like go sleep. <laughs> but I wanted a little bit of time because it's it's a board game convention, right? And I'm I'm kind of hyped about that actually because I I'm a big fan of board games. Yeah, I love it. Um, another another thing that's cool about it is uh, I don't know if you've ever seen True Dungeon, but True Dungeon's gonna be there, and uh, oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna not. be jumping on one of those. So it's like a cross between D and D and like a uh, escape room. So like you have a character oh. and you have abilities, and you go through these rooms, and you have to like solve puzzles. And do like D and D style combat against monsters and stuff like that. It's actually really cool. Wait, that's really cool. Is it? And it's a board game. No, it's a. It's like an escape room. You like go. You walk through it. It's like ten rooms. It's like physical. Wait, that's yes. awesome. Yes. That's super cool. And they do it at Origins. They do it at Gen Con, and then they usually do it at like one or two other conventions throughout the year. Wow. Okay. I might have to. Is that like a separate ticket to get or? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you a link after the after we're done. Yeah, definitely do that because I I'd be interested in that. Cool. Uh, if you want to uh, right click on this green bag over here too and save it, this green bag has uh, dice counters that I created and also these uh, tokens as well as the portal token. Right, right here. Sweet. Okay, I'll definitely do that. Uh, I'm just loading up my deck real quick and then I'll. You said right click and then save it as an object. Yep, exactly. Sweet. <clears throat> so, since you're going to Origins, how's your testing been going? Uh, good, I think. Um, I'm on the Tavern Brawlers team, so we've been test okay. sessions and stuff. Yeah. Nice. And I'm, I'm until you're allowed to to share. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm conflicted. Like uh, several people are on different decks, and I'm I have uh, a couple different decks that I'm thinking about, and I just don't know what to bring. Um, fair. Interesting. I mean, I'm kind of the same way. It's kind of nice, though. It feels like there's quite a few decks that are viable. I think so too. Um, which is nice. And it does yeah. kind of feel like there's not one deck that just beats everything. Yep. It feels very similarly like there's this one deck that does really good against these two, has a 50-50 against most other things, and then loses to these other two. And it's like, right. okay, that's kind of cool. It's a good spread. So. Yeah, I mean, you can if you look at the just the league that we're playing in here, there's uh, 22 players, and I think there's like 16 different contenders represented across those 22. And uh, if you look at the stuff right now, that's like two and O. There's quite a, it's quite a variance. So, you know what? How do you actually know what players are playing what decks? 
<laughs> by by paying attention. Uh, basically, basically, like uh, several of us are streaming, so you can get an idea of what some people are playing through watching the streams that are going on, and then some of it is, um, like some some people just broadcast the games live in the Discord, and you can watch them there, so you get some info that way too. Okay. I did not know that. So I I think I know what you're playing. I think you're playing Pestilence. Uh, yeah, how'd you know? I I pay attention to all the stuff. <laughs> uh, and, and I don't think any of my my opponents have streamed a game. No, but it's process of elimination too. So like, um, oh, fair. by watching the other ones, and then I get an idea of who they're assigned to, and it's it's pretty spread out. So, um. There's like a pretty heavy odds on certain decks and stuff like that. All right, <laughs> beat my four. <laughs> um. Well, you beat it with a five. All right. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll go first with pestilence. Chow Ling. Oh, I'm excited to see. What challenge it, it, you have growing up? This this should be an interesting game. So I we're both two and zero in the let league. Me, so let me triple check that my deck is the one that I thought it would be, and that there's nothing weird with it. Okay. You never know when I mix up decks. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that looks exactly right. Uh, I'm gonna shuffle it up a little bit. Okay. And I'll draw my eight. I'm also doing all right okay well I'll start us off got it start off with a resource here I'll set a trap and I'll fire uh, that seems like a good good start. Also, resource flash grab. Okay. Play it. Sounds good. Sort of binocular. And then yeah. I will pass. Hacking Sounds just good. a lot here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do this, and I'll pass over to you. Hmm. All right, let's go land. Okay, Kelly. Um, let me see. Hold up, I might want to oh. do it stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, I was reading this guy here. Oh, oh, yeah, Can you have a, I, I forgot you had a trap. Uh, it, it draws me a card if there's a resource or if there's a uh, equipment accessory within the top. Um, that should be, uh, I'll flip this okay. up. Got it. All right. And then, uh, I will pass turn. Okay. Draw a card. Let's see here. How's everybody doing tonight? In I'll resource this, and I'll just turn the portal on, and I'll pass to you. Good turn the. <laughs> All right. 
So. Add four cost or less? Yeah, four cost or less. That's cool. They had some foresight with uh, Chao Ling's contender weapon. Right. Uh, I'm going to row another Denver. Okay. And I'm going to pay three. Uh, I'm going to play Suit Up. Yeah. I'm going to play Dynasty Blade. Yeah. And I'm going to draw a card. Sounds good. And then I'm going to pass turn. Source that there. I I like that. Me too. That's something that that pestilence was the ability to hit something. Yeah. Let's go with Krung? Okay. A Lord Krung, and I'll attack for two. Uh, no obstructs. All right, I got no buffs. Right. And I'm going to pass to you. I'm trying to remember, so the... You could play either of the two green clash buffs, right? The one that's specifically for pestilence, or the Correct. the plus two plus two destroy a thing. Correct. Yeah. Okay. We, yeah. Plus two plus two trigger victory destroy an accessory. Catch our contender weapon. Got it. Gonna attack Krung. Sounds good. I have no blocks. No buff. Okay. Uh, and my thing dies. You have one defense, right? I do have so one defense, one. yeah. One. Cool. I'll resource this. Ooh, A5 big. with three green in there for this magnate to kill the dynasty blade. Got it. And then I'll attack in for five. Okay, uh, no obstructs, no buffs. No buffs. A buff. Sounds good. Uh, and then I will take five. I have one defense, so I'll take three. Sounds good. And it'll be your go. Uh, and I drop. Resource that. Uh, I'm going to play Kilimanjaro. Sure. I'm going to discard a Chicago and a uh, suit up. Okay. And I'm going to attack Esalen Spur 4. I have no blocks. And would you like to buff at all? Uh, I would not like to buff. I will take uh, three. Three. Yep. Right, and then pass turn. I'm going to look through your graveyard real quick. Got it. I 
got a bunch of fun stuff. Yeah. I'm going to skip resource, I believe. Yeah. If I'm counting my math right. One, two, four, five. Yeah. I'll start off with a target list. Yeah. And do you have a bounty counter by chance? Cool. Put a bounty counter there. Then we'll go one for a one cost pestilence. Target there. Oh, and there are even minus counters? That's yeah. And then I will play Defiled Place to re-trigger this enter effect to give that minus two. So he yep. is dead. Um, I'll trigger Pestilence himself and the target list to both draw cards, so I'll draw two. Okay. And I will pass to you. Yeah, it's a fun little draw engine there. <laughs> Flash cards get minus. Yep. Sweet card. Draw a card. Denver. Sounds good. Draw two, discard oh, one. Sting. Feels Weird, but <laughs> gonna discard a clash buff. Okay. Um, and then I'll go the portal. I'm going to. All right. Draw a card. I'm going to resource this. Okay. I like that you're going three color. It's interesting. Yeah. Three colors has been pretty pretty fun to do currently. I'm going to play a Lin. Okay. Uh, on enter, I'll put a bounty counter there and make you diminish a card. Sure. Diminish your power, okay. No weapons, though, so three, four. We'll play a four cost pestilence. Okay. And then I will attack your contender trigger attack. I have two cards in hand, so I'll draw one card. Okay. Um, would you like to block? I would not like to block. Okay. Let me think for a second. To clash buff. Uh, it's going to take him from three down to two, up to five. And then make you discard a card. Yep, I'm just trying to decide which card. Sweet. All right, uh, I will take five. Okay. 
and pass to you. Um. No resource. Okay. Hey, Weber. Okay. okay. Dynasty Blade loops. That's cool. Yep. Blade back on. Okay. Hack your. Uh, pestilence. So it's going to deal four damage because it deals double. Yep. And I'm going to block with my pestilence. Okay. Uh, uh, no clash buff. Would you like to buff? Okay, I got nothing as well. Okay, uh, so I will take one. I totally missed that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I will pass turn. Okay. And I'll draw a card. I will skip resource. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Tap that twice. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. I'm going to play another Magnate. Play the yes. Dynasty Blade. Okay. I have no other alphas, but that's fine. We will attack, trigger. I have two cards in hand, so I'll draw a card. Okay. Uh, attacking for three. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, all right, I will double obstruct. Okay. I have uh no buffs. No buff. Okay. Two so that, that's it's five, damage, right? No, it's five. Oh, I forgot Denver existed. Okay. Yep. This guy is dead. I was I was confused there for a second. I'm like, <laughs> I, I was like I, I, there has to be something that I'm missing. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, and then something died, so we'll trigger this at the end of the turn. I'll yep. attack in for five. Uh, no obstruct. Um, no buffs. Before I finish my turn, let me double check. What are we getting? I'm also going to play another Lin. Uh, I'll try to make you diminish your card. End step, both of these will trigger. Yep. Well, I think I'm just going to grab back both of these moxies that you had. Okay. Oops. What did I just click on? Um, so, double trigger, I'll draw two cards in total. Yep. And it's your turn. No resource. Okay. 
I'll play suit up. Yeah. Dynasty Blade. Yep. A card. <laughs> These Dynasty Blades. Man. Patch. Okay. All right. Um. We are going to attack Magnate. Uh, trigger. Gain a defense. Draw a card. Uh, currently a 2-2, two -two, yes. I think I'm just going to chunk block with a moxie. Got it. Uh, whoops. Throw this back over in your trash. Just for Oblivion, that's what we call it in this game. Yeah, Oblivion. And then uh, I will pass <laughs> her. Okay. Um, draw. Yeah. I'll attack for five with Magni. And no obstruct. Okay. Got nothing here. So I will take four and he'll die. Yeah. Four. Yeah. You just have another one? I don't have another one. <laughs> I was going to say that you should have played the other one first to get make this guy yeah, a six. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have three cards in hand? Three cards in hand. Um, this way would give me... I'm intrigued uh, what you're what you're playing here. Yeah, I forgot about the one defense that the the Dynasty Blade gave. Mm -hmm. So it is spicy. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna play this four drop pestilence. Okay. Um. We are going to. Attack, trigger, draw. Attacking in for four. Right. Uh, no obstruct. And then I drew the clash buff. Okay. So attacking in for six now. Okay. So I will uh, take five and he'll die. Uh, you do have to discard a card. I, I do, yeah. Guys, and then I'll attack for the last one, hopefully. Uh, no obstruct. Buff? I got no buffs. Did I? Oh, okay. <laughs> and there's the Moxie back. Yeah, if you uh, didn't kill me and... Um... You had another tyrant. I had another Weber in my hand, so. So you just hit it back again. Yep. That's actually really cool. That's that's a lot of life to gain too. Jeez. Yep. Like Weber, fetch my sword. <laughs> Wait, I do <clears throat> have stuff that I want to side against.
the interesting thing is is that I didn't even like this is was the weirdest game for this deck so far. Like none of the stuff that the deck is designed to do did it do. Interesting. Hard. Oh. All right. And I will go first. draw. Uh, I think I'm putting two back. Hey, guys. Hey. How's going? Chilling. I was trying to watch this game. Are you streaming it? I am streaming it, yeah. Where can I stream it at? Wait, you put it on the Discord, no? No. Well, uh, I didn't put the link on the Discord. It's in my bio if you click on my name. All right, for sure. All right, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm watch it through there. Okay. All right, thanks. Later. No problem. Bye. All right, we ready? Yeah. Okay. This is probably one of the most awkward hands I've had. Hey, that's promising for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. That. Uh, all right, this is an accessory, so I will take that to my hand. Yeah. Then I will pass turn. All right, I will hope I draw out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I will set a trap and pass you. Set a trap. Um, I'll play this. Yep. So that was gonna happen. Um. Then I will pass my turn. In somewhere. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to resource first. I mean, you don't have to technically. I don't have to technically. Um, I'm gonna resource a blue here, and then I'm gonna do my thing. I apologize if you can hear my dog barking in the background. I can a little bit, yeah. Hey. So 
two. We're going to play a Lin. Got it. Uh, on enter, we'll diminish a card and put a bounce counter on this guy. Come on, Becky. And... Ooh, that was a good one to diminish. Was. Um... I don't think two damage is worth it. I'm just going to pass. I don't think two damage is worth it. Um... Hey, thanks, uh, Salad Gazelle, for the follow. I want to do that. Thanks, Chef Louis, for the follow. I don't really like to um, source Webers, but Hard, so we're gonna go here. We are at victory peak. <clears throat> yes, we are. And I will pass turn. Would you like to add a another trap I just said another trap oh is that not was that one already there it, yeah it's the same one I was just kind of moving it around oh, okay um well I didn't see you I, play play one after this one what I meant oh well I apologize I yeah no, no I you're fine last turn yeah that's um, fine. I'm going to just pass unfortunately That's awkward. Um, glad we both are ha having awkward situations. <laughs> <laughs> Just do this. All right, we're gonna. Well, it's. I drew this Denver, and I want to play it, but I don't want to overwrite the victory. After the, so. the peak. Yeah, yeah, I would have liked to have it first, but I did. Go. Totally understandable. Ooh. Okay, we got a lot of this. Okay. And uh, then I will pass turn. All right. Oh wait, am I, am I tapping my resources? Untap my resources. Tap I will resource a green. I'm going to read this card. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I've seen too often from the, the set one and set two stuff. Well, I mostly played a set two, so. Okay. We're going to play this four drop pestilence okay. targeting there. Got it. Trigger my Pestilence Contender to draw a card. Yep. And I have no other chance in my oblivion. I <laughs> victory peak. Victory I'm peak. just gonna pass. At end of turn, I'm going to bring back this Moxie and draw a card. Got it. And it's your turn. Card. Okay. Not a lot going on in my discard right now. Um, Not a lot. I'm going to pass turn. This is a slow one. This is a slower one. 
to this. Yeah, I am excited for Origins. Me too. It's going to be really interesting in Origins, I think. Yeah, I do too. I, I'm just wondering how big the field's going to be. Like, how many people are going to show up. That's the, the only thing that I'm like, I'm not sure about. Yeah, I'm hoping that we get... At least more than, than Vegas. Yeah, that would be nice. But I'm wondering, like, <clears throat> so Southern Hobby and uh, has been sold out of boxes, so I'm wondering if people are going to have issues getting cards they need. I currently have issues not getting cards. I currently have, <laughs> like, the only set three cards I have are from the pre-release I played in Vegas. Nice. Uh, yeah, I have so. I have nine boxes coming Monday, <laughs> hopefully. Okay. Uh, what do you think of it? This is thanks. Cool. <laughs> I don't really want to yeah. play this, but I also want to get some Are you, damage. Are you going to get this? Yeah, okay. I'm hit the abatement there. Okay. And I'm going to attack in for five. I will trigger victory peak. You got it. Two. And I'll attack in for three. And uh, no blocks. Um. Okay. Oh, you're you're tapped out, so no buffs. Yeah, there. I have no buffs. Uh, okay, so I take. And I will pass you. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No resource. Okay. That wrong. <laughs> uh we're gonna we're gonna do it anyway. Alright. Okay. Um Four, one, that on there, yeah. I will um this gives a plus one defense and trick. Um I'll block with this moxie. Okay. No buffs. Okay. Same here. Send that right. back over there. And then pass turn. Okay. <clears throat> now I've got the full on pillow fort. I've got Victory Peak and I've got a Dynasty Blade. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All of it over there. This is interesting. I I really like uh, Magnate. Yeah. I think I am going to make a weird play and I'm going to skip resource. Okay. I think I do. So same as me. This. And okay. I will pass you. Wow. Old. Yeah. I don't I don't wanna throw my board away for five, six damage. <clears throat> Good. I could. We're gonna try it a different way though, I think. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. All right, and my resource. Uh, 
crap. Uh, I'm gonna attack your contender. I have no blocks. No buffs. Take one. Um, it's a two, right? Yep. Cool. Take one. Last turn. <laughs> okay. Try card. That both helps and doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Actually, it helps more than it doesn't help. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to resource here to three. Play a defiled place. <clears throat> okay, so in response to that. Yep. May as well prevent the next three non clash damage to affect my contender this sure. turn. This on enter, I'm going to re trigger Magnate the Tyrant to throw the Dynasty Blade away. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to attack for two. Uh, yep. Um, oh, yeah, because it's the two, three. Uh, yeah. no, <laughs> That's no why it hurts. <laughs> uh, buff? I have no buffs. I'll attack for one. No, no buffs. Okay, and. Uh, I'm going to pass. I want to get abatemented. I mean, it could be anything. It could be a sharpshooter moxie. It could be a sharpshooter. I haven't seen a sharpshooter yet. Unless I am blind. Which is very possible. It all could be <laughs> Which would be very ironic, because I work in the field of opticianry where... I, I work with eyeglasses, so... <laughs> oh, that, is, that is funny. Uh, I am not going to resource. Okay. I will play Weber. Uh, I was waiting for back that. <laughs> and reattach it. Okay. Uh, and then I will attack... Attack Krung. You got it. I have no blocks. No no buffs or anything. Okay. All right. And then I'll pass turn. Oh, wait, I don't even take one because he was a 1-2, right? Yeah, he was a 1-2. That's... Weber, go fetch my sword. <laughs> it's one... Webers. Two Webers down. Okay. That's right. We're getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely, yeah. Eventually. Um, let's get resource. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna okay. Play another four drop pestilence. I'll target there. Okay. I'll tap my contender, draw a card. Got it. One cost back on top of my deck. One cost, so it's unnecessary. Um, we're at 16. I'm just going to pass. All right. The fort is working. It is seemingly working. I mean, I'm not making uh, a lot of headway, but... <laughs> Although neither of us really are. <laughs> right. 
Okay. Let us not resource any. Uh, no resource. Um, play a Lin. A Lin. Yeah, you got it. At contender for five. Or four. I will counterattack. I'll play a lefties to negate the clash damage to the clash. Got it. All right. At contender. You got it. I got no blocks. Take one. I'll take one. And I think you tapped the, the weapon. Oh, I did. <laughs> but it's all good. I don't think it would have made much of a difference. Yeah. I'll draw a card. Just wait till I get my, my other uh, victory peak out here. Right? Resource the card. I'm going to send us to the spatial gateway. Okay. I'm going to turn the portal on. Okay. And that's a sharpshooter moxie. Yeah. It's not? Oh, okay. Shoot. We have minus two there. Okay. Uh, we will attack contender for two. Okay, no obstructs. I got nothing here. I'll pay to buy it back on death. One. The spatial. I'll play another one. Target there again. Attack you for another two. Okay. I don't... I'll buy it back and then play it. Give that minus. Trigger the pestilence. And then draw a card. Water resources. Was a lot of resources, but only two cards. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really want to take it for four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. So I'm going to pass the turn. All right. I'm going to pay to flip the portal at contender. I have no blocks. No blocks. I'll take one. Yep. Pass turn. Uh, did you draw a card by chance? Uh, oh, I didn't. You're right. Trigger attack, draw a card. You're right. Uh, would you like to play more cards? Uh, I actually would now. Ah. Because uh, that gets rid of that nonsense. It does. Gonna get a more. Okay. And we're gonna pass. To get off the grand park. What's that? Uh, a one drop moxie. Did you get off the grand park? The one drop moxie. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about my resource step currently. Mm hmm. You have one resource up with four cards in hand. Yep. And you know, one of them is a moxie. Yeah. I 
request a resource for I play four drop pestilence. Okay. Yeah. Going to attack trigger. I have three in hand, so I'll draw a card. Uh, okay. Attacking for four. <laughs> uh, no obstruct. I got nothing here. Okay, I will take three. Okay. I will attack for five. Okay. Uh, no obstruct. Same here. Buffs? I have no buffs. Buff? This is what I was afraid of. There, you have two defense now, so you'll take three. Uh, I have two defense, yes, so I will take three. Since you have three attack, it deals double, so now it does kill this guy. Yep. Ask. All right. So oh, that is a suitable threat. Do I want to resource? Kind of want to resource. But I am not. Okay. Play a Moxie. I will card. respond. Oh, oh I will respond sorry. with a sharpshooter Moxie. It's all good. Yep, sorry. And... Uh, that happened. These are really forgettable. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. And this this playmat is not ideal. I think uh, it's very busy, it's and sometimes see, stuff gets lost in there. I I'm hoping uh, after Origins that I'm going to be able to clean this up and use the regular two player mat. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that would look nicer. Yeah. All right. Now what we're doing. Lin? Yeah. That contender for five? Yep. I will take four. Jeez. That contender for two? Draw a card? I have no blocks. I will take one. All right, and then I will pass turn. All right. We're almost at parity here. This is interesting. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. I have to say it is nice that you can't just attack with four drop pestilence over and over and draw cards every turn. Like that's Yeah, that's uh that's been a little rough nice. actually. I'm gonna resource this. Huh? Oh wait, no, I can't resource that. Hold up, hold up, we're resourcing differently. <laughs> I mean you can resource, resource that. <laughs> uh one, two, three, four. Six. Agnate? Oh, Kagan. We'll okay. Play a Kagan. Uh, killing the Lin. Yep. And then I'll attack in with a 5 7 because of Grand Park. Yep. Um, I have no blocks. Okay. I have no buffs. I will take four. four. And I will pass over to you. 
Bet. I did not see those in game one. Rude. Yeah. Game's getting close, though. You have a lot of life gain, and I don't. You have a lot of life. Um. The victory peak. Then. At contender for two, draw a card. Is off. Portal is off. Plus one defense. So he's got two defense right now. Yeah, he's a two two right now. Great. Yeah. Um. I will not block. Okay. Take one. Uh, then I will pass turn. Funny, like I'm I'm trying not to play clash cards because all your stuff removes it, and then you draw cards, and I don't want you to draw cards. So I'm like, <clears throat> trying find it really well. It's trying to trying to let Cao Ling like do his thing. Right. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to skip my resource. Okay. I'm going to start the turn by attacking for five. Uh, I will victory there. Yeah. Sure. Counter attack. Um. Yep. Flash buff. I have no buffs. It's gonna kill Kagan here. Yep. So I have two defense there, and then um, three block. So yeah, I take nothing from that. Yes. Yeah, that is correct. Shout out to my friend Joe for recommending putting Victory Peak in this deck. <laughs> Uh, that that happens to be the Joe that you beat on stream, who was playing the same deck as me at Vegas. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. What we got now. We're gonna play this, and okay. we're gonna pass. Eventually, we're gonna have <laughs> no clash buff. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna pass these. Only two of them now. Yeah, I think that was only two so far. Right. Uh, there are two in my discard. But they're potent. Yeah. Dang. They are. Alright. I gotta figure out how I want to play this. <laughs> I need to resource hard. Okay. Uh, let's resource work. And Gonna play Kilimanjaro. Okay. Uh, we are going to discard again. again. Okay. 
Then we are going to Seven hand right now, three. Early three, yeah. Let's uh hat contender with Kamajaro. I will block with the one cost pass. Yep. And I've got no buffs. No buffs here either. Okay. I will attack Tender here. Draw a card. I will not block. Um, take one. Unless you want a buff, I'll just take the one. I do not. I do not. Um, and then I will pass. Okay. Gotta clear that board. Hard return. Yeah. Kilimanjaro is good against Lin. It's pretty good against Lin, that is true. I'm going to skip resource yet again. Okay. One, two, four. Okay. Only this attack at minus three. Is that all four, or is that only three? Uh, the fourth one's in my resource currently. Oh, yeah, there it is. I've drawn so many cards. I do draw a lot of cards in this deck. Almost all my cards yeah. draw me cards in some way or another. <laughs> Now the question is so better than this probably. <clears throat> Sources up. It's a tough situation. Let's go to the to draw a card. Keep that. I saw a lot of people on the Discord going like, uh, how do you, like, basically saying that none of their games ever go past, like, four or five resources. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but there's a lot of interaction in this game. There is a lot of interaction. Uh, I'm going to play a one-cost Lin. I'll target there. I'm going to keep Diminish a card. Buy binoculars. To gonna activate my pestilence ability, discarding alpha. <laughs> to that is the most expensive way to kill Kilimanjaro that I've ever seen in my. It it really is. Uh, that's why I was like, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> um, did you, did you just draw a card? I drew a card off of pestilence himself. His first ability. Because it defeated it. So oh, yeah, his second, ability, his second ability his second ability doesn't engage. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Um. Thing is. So Would you like not... to suicide all of your guys now? <laughs> I would have if I could play the Aster. That's funny. Uh, yeah. Can do that. We're instead gonna just turn the portal on. Okay. <clears throat> And I'm just going to end my turn, bring back this Moxie, and draw a card. Okay. And I'll pass to you. It's funny, like, we'll Victory Peak eventually. isn't actually getting used, but it's the threat of Victory Peak that's, like, the most important thing. Yeah. Yep, that's true. I do not. All right. Okay. I'm going to start with I'm... Weber. And Weber is going to... Okay. Um, then... I'm going to play Suit Up. I am not going to play anything from hand. I'm going to attach yeah. here, and I'm going to draw a card. Four, five, six in the air. Yep. Yeah. Back contender for six. I will take five. Unless you want a buff. I don't want a buff. <clears throat> okay. Four, and five. I will... Pack contender for two. I'll yep. block with a moxie. I'll uh, draw a card. You got it. And then I will pass. Uh, yeah, Fry. The people on the dis the main Discord were saying like most of their games don't last past the fifth resource. I guess they're just everybody's just like aggro at face, which is a way to go, but. Good way to go. I'm gonna skip my resource. Okay. I agree. It is wild. I'm gonna okay. Play this guy. And attack two into here with necrotic. Okay. I will prevent the next three damage dealt to him this turn. You got it. Weber is flying atop that victory peak. I'll attack contender with my 3 4 trigger draw card to a 4 4. Okay. Um, no obstruct. I have no buffs. I will take... You said you're at four, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at four. And he will die. Yep. Two, two. I feel like this turn is pretty important. It is. Pretty sure you have your third clash buff. Okay. I'll attack you for three. It will not obstruct. Close. Oh. 
will attack you for three. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I uh, no obstruct. Okay, I have no buffs. Uh, on this guy's death, I'll return a one cost to the top of my deck. I'll return this pestilence to the top here. Flip that over. I will attack you for three. No obstruct. No. Same here. So no no buff. Sorry. Okay. I'll attack. No one, obstruct. Well, two. No buffs. Just kidding. I don't have it. <clears throat> no way. Yep. Oh, I was trying to play around it, like get to where this Kagan would be able to get through, but dang! Wow. Yeah. I totally thought you had the buff. Yep, I did not. My hand uh, was actually uh, pretty interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Denver's rough to play because then you get rid of Victory Peak, which is helping out a lot. Right. Super well, I wasn't... was really strong. Yeah, my, my plan was if you didn't have basically the kill on me this turn... Well, I was hoping last turn I drew two cards, this, and it was these. Uh, I was hoping one of them was a Clash buff. If it was, then I live to the next turn... And then you have to basically, like, kill Weber. Um, yeah. And then if you do kill Weber, then um, basically you have to, like, suicide all your stuff into me and or it to try to kill me this turn. And then if you don't, then yeah. I play Howling, Attack, Bn, Ready, Attack. That's just, like, brutal. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, that, that combo right there is just brutal. Yeah. That's why discarding this to the Kilimanjaro so that when I play Weber, then I can bring it back in, and then I can suit up. I, it was either that or I play suit up and then play this for free, and then, yeah. That's some really cool synergy. I, I've got to commend you on that deck. That's awesome. Yeah, it's been working for me well so far. Just uh, not today, apparently. Although this game was pretty close. I have to say this game, this game was, was pretty... really close. Yeah. I think it was so basically just one wire. off. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And a Kilimanjaro coming up to kill that. So my next two turns, or my next turn would have been these two cards. Um, which wouldn't have really helped me. So at that point, I probably would have been forced. For some damage. And then at that, chump blocks and whatnot. Yeah, then at that point, I would have been forced to Denver. So. There we go. And you would have got it. Yep. Dang. Man, that game was really close. Those are really good games, though. Yeah, I think they were, too. Uh, I, I like, like, so what I added in here to this deck the last round is I added in um, these Ancient Powers, which I cited out against you because you had so much accessory destruction. Um, I figured it was a waste. And then um, Subways, Subways, which help against this stuff and it also makes um also gives me another way to discard like my power armors and stuff and then uh i took a sphere out of main deck um because it's pretty useful to do, except for like if you play something big and then immediately attack with it then maybe i can like use this to jump something but yeah it's best thing is like if i bring in the the Shattering Blow um, uh, Clash buff at all, or if, like, I have any of it, mm -hmm. which I do. It's so, like, this is, like, a really good counter answer of, like, I think I'm going to get my trigger victory and kill on your weapons, and you just go, no. How many How many of the infestations do you have main deck? Uh, I have three infestation main deck, and then I have the sh one Shattering Blow in the sideboard. Oh, okay. okay. Bring it. Yeah. I think it's useful. Right. And yeah, this one's also not super useful. I mean, it's good uh, with people that don't have a lot of innate card draw because you can pressure them right. really hard. Uh, Cowling has a lot of card draw, so um, especially yeah. the way I built him. And then I threw one Moxie out because I was just like one less thing for you to draw off of and whatever. Yeah, 
No, you played really well just like playing around me being able to kill your small stuff. You just didn't play the small stuff instead. Yeah. Which was really smart. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Like I, I this is the first time I played against Pestilence in set three, so I was not exactly sure what to expect. Uh, and I definitely did not expect Lin and Target List, so out of Pestilence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like the the blue card draw package here. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Or value package, I should say, because you're also going to reanimate stuff. The yeah. only awkward thing is, like, even if you reanimate, like, a one cost Pestilence and you kill a thing, you still can't tap your Pestilence Contender because it has to be during a primary phase. Right. But but it's still pretty good. And a lot yep. of times, you take whatever your opponent has that draws a card and, and jump block with it. And this deck, Denver, is really good. Like, Making it so that you can discard like a power armor or something, uh, so that when you play Weber, you could bring it back in. Um, in other games that I've had, I've had turns where it was like turn one, Denver discard power armor, and then on uh, turn three, it was play Weber, uh, bring it back in, and then turn four would was suit up, drop a Dynasty Blade, equip the power armor to Weber, pay one, equip the Dynasty Blade. On turn four. And then draw a card. It's kind of nasty. Kind of, <laughs> that is nasty. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a combo deck, but it's it's fun. Yeah, it's like a mid-range deck that has like a little combo flourish to it. Right. And plus, like... This is really, really synergistic. Yeah, and if people just focus super hard on like, killing your Dynasty Blade, you're just like, hey, Weber, go get my sword. Hey, Weber, go get my sword. And you do that over and over. That was that was super cool. Um, yeah. I did not think about the Weber getting back the Dynasty Blade. That's that's really, really cool. Um, yeah. Th- how many alphas did you have in your main deck or in your deck in general? Uh, three Kilimanjaro. Playing this on so three Kilimanjaros. <laughs> Just the three. Okay. Yeah, I have three Kilimanjaros. Um, yeah, that's the only alpha in my whole deck. I, I figured I need to have an alpha in my deck just in case. Um, <clears throat> and Kilimanjaro is synergistic with everything else that's going on because he lets you discard stuff that you could just pull back. Um, yep. So really I figured good he's good. With Lin and Torque running around everywhere. Yeah. And then I have this this in here too, which is not a alpha. Nice. But yeah. Um, it's interesting. Like my last round, I never played her because of the like. It was like kind of like weenie go wide decks, and so I would like first turn resource clarity, uh, gotcha. and then and then that way I could do pretty much anything I want on turn three if it's double black or double white. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, very good card just in general too. Yeah, I agree. She's she's great. It gives you a little life gain or a card draw or something else that you need. Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> funny enough. So this this was my sideboard against you at turn. Vegas. <laughs> Wait, actually. <laughs> yeah, and That's for awesome. for for clarity in Vegas, I had one alpha and two undisputeds in the sideboard, and against clarity, that was my package to bring in. I, I was sitting on the alpha for the alpha aster for like two or three turns. I was mm-hmm. like, do I play it? Because I had like six creatures on board. I'm like, do I just... I wanted to alpha strike, but then you kept clash buffing, and I'm like, well, now I'm getting like <laughs> three more damage in, so I don't want to sacrifice my five dudes for like four damage. Right, and I was so, also yeah, making you think, because it was like the first thing that the first thing that attacks, I'm just like, okay, no buff, and then you're like, okay, well, then it must be open. Attack again. Oh, no, now I'm in a clash buff. And Yep, exactly. It, it's just... You were playing it really well, so I'm like, I kept getting being in these spots where I'm like, I want to be able to set my board for <laughs> decent value and then out Aster, but I keep having to like get rid of too much for not enough damage. Right. It, th- this is hard for me to get rid of. In the deck. Yeah. I was hoping like this would just be really hard to get rid of, and it's two also just big guys that help get over the armor. Yeah, my best case scenario, I think, for getting rid of this is if you play it and you attack me on the next turn, then I play Kilimanjaro, discard three cards to make him a 3-3, and then attack with my contender. Yeah, and then he's just 
<laughs> done for. <laughs> yeah, like that's my best case of trying to get rid of him. Um, unless I have like a Weber with a power armor or something that I can uh, kill Minjaro down like only one or two cards to to get there. But yeah, he's really hard. I probably should have some number of deliverances in my deck somewhere um, between deck and sideboard. Yeah. Yeah, probably just like a couple. Yeah. Like two well, or three. Well, there's I'm there's ancient power too. Time. Like if you aren't playing all yeah. the artifact destruction and you're just playing this, then this deals with him too. Yep. I'm I'm almost I feel like this card's better in the main deck than the sideboard. Yeah, it is in the main deck. I have two in the main deck. Okay. Okay, I like that. But as soon as you destroyed um, like three dynasty blades in a row, I was like, okay, I'm gonna side that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was honestly kind of lucky on my part because I don't have that much. Like, I drew all of my accessory removal in game one. That makes sense. I was just like, man, you are loaded, and green is kind of the color for that anyway. So, right, yeah. But awesome, yeah. That was a a good game. Um, yeah, it was really good. I do have one one question. Are you, sure. So, am I remembering correctly that you mentioned that you might be a judge for the game? I am a judge, a level one judge. Okay, so I have a rules question then. Sure. I've been thinking about this for a while now, and have just forgotten to ask about it. So okay. Alpha Aster has Irrefutable, that he can't be prevented from entering play. Right. Does that stop him from being Swarm of Monsters, where he would get sent to Oblivion instead? Yes. Okay, so he cannot be swarmed a Swarm of Monsters. No. Okay, cool. But he that could was... be, he could be like abysmal well like a, a abysmal yeah, abysmal doom with for nine <laughs> yeah for like a nine that would kill him as he entered but you would still get the yeah, inner trigger enter the effect yeah okay yeah unless so, you have 11 and then you see them coming and abysmal him then that would yeah <laughs> that's a lot of resources to deal with him <laughs> it is okay i i thought that was how it was it would interact I just didn't know for, like, absolute certain. Um, right. Cool. Well, that's awesome. Uh, love the deck, by the way. That's, Thank you. That's awesome. I like yours, too. I I knew Pestilence was going to be a thing. I just wasn't sure, like, what to expect from it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. <clears throat> pretty good. Because uh, the, the blue target list stuff is, is fun to play around with. Uh, mm -hmm. I've had good success with it. This is... Uh, barring like a couple minor tweaks between games, this has been the deck I've been playing this whole tournament. I feel like your deck, uh, the counter to your deck, and the, kind of what any of the this blue sh uh, Lin shenanigans stuff is set three magnate, yep. um, because just he just doesn't the, play the any clash competitor. cards. Yeah, yeah. He just yeah, goes face true. and and ignores you and. Blows up your board and uh, doesn't play anything for you to draw off of. Yep, <laughs> that is very fair. Yeah, I. Uh... Uh, but he loses to other stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I haven't, I haven't played too much against the uh, the set three magnate. I played him in round one. Okay. What what kind of deck was was it? Red green primarily. Yeah, it's red green. Um, because you want to, okay. you you have to run like, uh, here comes Ooh, the booms and stuff, so that you can clear the board and like solar smashes and you know that kind of. Yeah, just so your contender can keep attacking. Yeah. Just stuff on the board. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep, that's pretty much. Uh, I think the the best version of it. Uh, there's I I've seen some other versions, yeah. but that one was really good. I also played against a machina that that was running black and. Like Shadow Forge Totem and stuff. Yeah, that's actually why I have the Shadow Forge Talisman, and yeah. a lot of the um, the Krung decks are just playing yep. Talisman, which they is are. why I only have three Clash Buffs in my deck because honestly, my Clash Buff isn't that great. So when it's even when it's turned off, it's all it's it's, it's even worse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they turned it off on me, I would just resource it. Like I don't. Yeah. For mine. I mean, it's nice if I can get it early. So then on game two and three, I would just be very aggressive with them um, to draw cards. And then hope they don't drop it on turn two, which happens every time I play Krung. Yeah. Uh, well, cool. 
Well, yep. Good games. Same for and, you, uh, and uh, we'll see you later. Good luck in the rest of them, because uh, if you keep winning, then that's yeah, better for you. my opponent match percentage. So <laughs> Fair. And <laughs> I hope to see you in Origins, and hopefully we see in the top... Uh, are they doing top 16 or top 8, or is it dependent it's, on... It's top 16, uh, go to day 2. Okay, awesome. I like that. Yep. Well, I hope to see you in the top 16, then. You too. Thank Bye. you. Well, you have a good night, all right? You too. Thanks. Bye. All right, so that was, unfortunately, my first loss in the league uh, against Pestilence. Jacob is a very good player. Uh, he beat in the uh, out of the top eight in, in Vegas um, uh, with his Clarity deck, which was also really cool, and I believe three color. So, um, yeah, that was... I, I kind of had a feeling that that might happen, but I need to tweak my deck some more to account for stuff like that. Uh, so now, before I, I head off for the night, I got this package, which is uh, stuff that I got from Part-Time Collector's eBay auction uh, for Alpha Clash. Um, and so this is not the stuff that came with the boxes, like the add-ons for the booster boxes. I should get that stuff Monday, and then I'll probably do a stream Monday night where I open all those booster boxes because I need the cards, and then show off the bonuses that I got with those. But this is just like the extra auctions the 22nd auctions and stuff that they have so there we go. got everything here uh so first thing three little things i got two slabs these are the first slabs i've ever picked up for anything um i haven't been a big like collector guy but these slabs were really interesting to me and so i them. This first one, if I remember right, is a one in three hundred from before the Kickstarter. Thing is like glued in there. You did not mess around. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, there's like a sleeve over the thing in there. Okay, so. So this is a Koba um, graded magnate from, I believe, before the Kickstarter came out. Uh, it's a 9.5. Uh, it's got this unique art that I think is only on this one promo, and there's three. So uh, this was the first one that I picked up, and that was, uh, I thought that was super cool. I love the art on it. The, that magnate art is pretty great. Uh, the second thing that I got here is a PSA graded 9. Okay. And this is a Clarify, but it has an ambassador stamp here. Old ambassador stamp. I think there are not very many of these. Um, but I have one now. That is super cool. And then... The last stuff, which I think is actually, like, I'm more excited about the stuff in this sleeve than I am about either of those other two. I think those other two are really cool collectibles, but this stuff is, like, okay. So, first there's a card in there. So, the first thing was uh, I, got a, I picked up a case topper from set three of the Krung. Uh, I think this art is the best of the IRs, and I'm willing to fight about that. Like, I think this the IR is great. Got one case topper there. Um, this next card... Hard to see in the light that I have going on here, because I the light's on that side of me. Okay, yeah, this is a, this one is not super exciting. This is just a legendary Alpha Aster from set one. Okay, and then the last two cards, which I think are super awesome, 
are actually playtest cards. So if I remember right, these are like 1 in 40. Um, I think there were 40 sets of these made. Uh, this is a Clash Ground that was never, well, hasn't been made yet, called the Apocalypse. And the other one that I got is a, like, the first discarded contender. I think that is a super cool playtest card. And then I also have another playtest card that's like a clarity, um, one drop clarity, uh, that I think is uh, really cool that I picked up in a tournament. I didn't actually win that one. I traded it after for the... For so, I have three playtest cards. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the extra stuff that I picked up from Part-Time Collector. Um, I still, like, art. I want this on. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody who stopped by to watch the stream tonight. Uh, hopefully I will do better in round four. That would be a sick mat, Fry. Oh man, I want that art on, I want that art on something big that I can display. But yeah, so I am looking forward to round four. Hopefully, uh, I'll do better. Um, uh, see how that goes. So I want to thank everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.